Hey there folks, welcome to this Tuesday Game Reviews live stream. I hope my mic is working this time. Let me know if it's not. I don't know what happened that other time. I uh, it's late. It's later than usual. It's 1 15 in the morning on Saturday night, but it's Saturday night, right? So maybe some people are around. I see a couple people are here. Um, say hello if you're here in the chat. Um, what I did here last last if you remember a couple of streams ago, I streamed just give me this adventure game. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea for your IBM PC. It was messed up. It wasn't that good. Um, I wanted to try to um, see what like what what problems were with the, just the version we were playing. Because the IBM, the DOS version, obviously sucked. So I was able to pick up a copy of the Atari ST version, at least the discs. There's two discs here. One is, this is the first one. It's just Loader. And then this is the other one. Dull stub Steve Buck summary is so again. Well, yes, but at least this time I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play straight off of a, of a walkthrough. And we're just going to see the, like, the, the, the graphics and the sound are definitely better in this version. So we'll, we'll see what else is different. I, I, there's a couple things I wanted to do. But, um. <laughs> hey, Dorian. Um. Hopefully it won't be too bad. How's the mic today, by the way? Like, I, I don't know if the gate is, is good this time or, or what, but not that anything different. Um. Not complaining. Well, you're not going to see me get frustrated because I'm going to use a walkthrough. But this is the first time I ever um, played an Atari ST game on this stream or even on this computer. I had to figure out how to digitize the discs, which was not trivial. It actually should be trivial. If you have a, a three and a half inch drive built into your machine, then there's a program that let you read it, read ST discs on an IBM PC, but it doesn't work with USB discs. There's several programs, none of them work properly with USB discs. So I had to jump through a bunch of hoops to get it to work, and then use this emulator for the first time, which is called Hatari, like Atari with an H in front of it. Then I finally did get it to work. Mike seems mostly okay. All right, let me know if there's anything else I can do. Let me turn this this side, actually. All right. Um, and uh, this is running just a stock Atari ST, basically. So let me put in the, the disc. Let's show all that stuff. That's nice. Okay, so let me change this here too. So, there we go. The version I played earlier was DOS, correct? So the disc is in there. And open it up. Here it is. Oh, I gotta do this. If I don't like, lock the mouse into the thing, then it starts going off the screen and stuff. So scroll down here. Loader.prg is the program. So we're going to kick it off. And now it is loading. And while it's doing that, I'm going to pull up the walkthrough on my phone. Like, it's like, you think it's like dead or something. There's no indication it's actually working, but it is. It took me a while to figure this thing out. Around uh, 20,000 leagues. You hear that? Sound. I think it's supposed to be like a, t like a tornado or the ocean or something. It's not really a great sound, but <laughs> it's better than we had before. Twenty thousand leagues. Now the logo looks a hell of a lot better too. I guess it's supposed to be like a tornado or something going underneath the logo, and lights going up and down. But we like before that the DOS version Ultra was a static picture. And we couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. So, the Atari version is a lot better. I mean, in terms of the graphics and the sound, like I said before. Totally use Cocktail. FAQ. It's loading right now. Change disk. Take this disc out, put this disc in. I'm going to just straight up do, use a walkthrough. And thankfully, this emulator does have save states also. So, you know, it's the things, the action sequences or whatever, if we mess up, we just do it again. I'm just going to use the same save state over and over again, but.
when I was like doing this the first time, I was like, is it working? <laughs> I hope it's working. I mean, I spent so much time with these freaking discs. The first like four, five attempts didn't work. And then finally, I got something to work. And I was like, oh my god, it works. Luckily, the, t the seller told me the, the discs were tested and they worked. So I was, you know, I knew I was working with probably good discs. And, I st and by the way, the second disc, according to the program I use, is copy protected. But I still had to use crap with, with this stupid code thing. Um, it also, the disc only cost me 10 bucks plus like $5 shipping. So, A520, let's see. A520. That's gray. A521. I think it's red. It's hard to tell. I'm going to go with red. There we go. Alright, so this is the same thing. And this is the same thing. Okay, this looks exactly the same as the IBM version. But then... Well, you'll see what happens when it actually comes. So the weeks pass. Now any of the side of the watch. This this picture by itself looks so much better than the DOS version. I don't know if you remember what it looked like in the DOS version. All the pictures look better because obviously they were done on Atari ST or Amiga, and then they were converted over to DOS, and they didn't really do try, even make an attempt to clean it up or anything. They look like crap in the DOS version. The weeks pass. Now any of the side of the watch is present in the area. The so one day, three hundred miles to the shores. Of Queen Charlotte's Island. <laughs> this is one of two colors, yeah, exactly. And I remember we saw this thing and they just we didn't do anything, but it's supposed to be hitting the ship. Look at this. Now the screen shook and it made a sound. And even this room, which the which like the crappy graphics, looks a lot better in this version in my opinion. The same text. So you're born the Nautilus, I am Captain Nemo. We're your prisoners. To sum up thanks to me, you discover a wonderful world unknown to man. There's no question that I want to go home. Calm down, my dear Ned. I shall leave you now. Alright. Did I mention how in the movie, like, uh, Ned is played by Kirk... What's his name? Kirk Douglas. And, uh... Conceal is played by, uh... What's his name? Uh... Boss, boss, we have to get the... What's that guy's name? I forget now off the top of my head. But anyway, the famous people. And the, and the presser was played by some unknown, and so was Demo, apparently. All right, so first of all, I'm going to save the state. Now, one thing I, I want to show you before I do anything else, because I was playing around with this. By the way, here was the sound of the door opening. I remember there was an organ in the, in the PC version... And, we, and we, tried, we couldn't figure out what to do with it. I still can't figure out what to do. So the PC version, if you remember the sounds, it looked like there was like, dink, dink, dink. And the walkthroughs were guessing. Dorian says, this looks so much better. I don't know why they even bother putting this on DOS. I guess because for, for losers like me, I guess. But anyway. <laughs> um, the... Um, the walkthroughs don't know what to do with the organ because if you play the organ like you play like, 12 notes Nemo comes in and tells you like piss off but in the code there's apparently something you're supposed to play where he gives you congratulate you but nobody knows what it's what it is nobody knows what to do and they, 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 like, the like the people in the, in the internet think it's like box staccato and fugue in D minor how does that which goes like this the one that's the song that goes doo 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 I did the best I could of the DOS version composing that with those beeps, and I thought I was really damn close, and it still didn't work. So I figured, let me try this version and see what the, what the sound sound like, and maybe that will be, maybe it'll sound completely different, and that will help me figure it out. And I was right, they sound completely different. However, it did help me figure anything out, because I don't see how you can play that song with this. Because remember, again, it goes like this. I get five notes here. Look out here. Wait. So it definitely sounds like an organ. That's a plus. But it doesn't sound like... It's not the right pitch to play that song. So there must be some other song you're supposed to play, and I have no clue what it is. 
Maybe there's a clue to it somewhere. I don't know. Um, Jim Leonard offered to decompile the DOS code for me if I would pay him five thousand dollars, but I said no. <laughs> so I, I don't know. So that's that's the only thing that's not so, that we don't, nobody knows what the answer to it is. Literally every aspect came out of Atari. Yeah, exactly. So we, so bottom line is though I don't know what the solution is to this puzzle. If you play this enough times, he comes in and yells at you. You'll see. There he is. Spare me those vain efforts and go and practice a little, Professor. And it would be nice if you could find some sheet music somewhere in the game or something, but apparently you can't, so... Alright, I'm just going to forget that. I pretend it doesn't exist. I'm just going to follow the walkthrough. Literally just follow the walkthrough. Uh... Alright. What else to do here? Wait a second. Where's the actual walkthrough part of this? All right, here we go. Captain Nemo will only ask you to pull the door to this after reading the ocean book in the library. Wait, help, opening scene. Here we go. Sorry. Kind of a mess around here. Open your map and plot your initial marking, placing it on top of the Queen Charlotte Islands just off the west coast of Canada. Why is that working? There we go. I have to lock the mouse, I think. Oh, no, it's, it, was, it was locked before. All right, here we go. So zero. It says in the walkthrough, put it over here. I don't know how it knows, but... Look, what, come on, look. Come on, bastard! Get up! All right, here we go. All right, now I need to figure out what to put. I don't know. I have no idea. That's right. That's why I'm following the walkthrough. <laughs> Next, enter the control room. Click on the exterior lights button to move out the bounds of the ship with exterior lights. How do we do that? So this, okay, let me just, I'm going to save it here a couple times. Just to make sure I don't blow this. It actually said in the, um, in, in the earlier in the walkthrough, I didn't read it, where the, uh, where the lights are. Let me look at that. I don't think I even saw that button. Exterior lights, one. So this button here. Where do you get the algae you need to power the motorless? Electricity, it's the key to the future of mankind. I think you have to like write this, anything you want to write in your notebook, you got to write it like right away, otherwise you're, you're screwed essentially. Uh, sorry. Yes, click on your notebook to enter this into your journal. The notebook is here, I guess. So I actually put something useful in here. The choose the world's future. Yeah, I, I agree. There must have been psychic. Or, and actually, they definitely were messing around with the, with the source code, some of these people. It looks like a control over like a bunch of orange and brown smears. Yeah, you're right. It actually, it's so much, the, the graphics are so much better, aren't they? It's not even a joke. All right, leave control by the ladder. Enter Nemo's library. Click the top shelf, then the left arrow to read the book Ocean. Click it twice to read it. Read it three times, it says, until Nemo asks you to leave. Could you go out, Professor? I'd like to be left alone. Okay. Click on the door, turn to the living room. I don't know why that room has to be all brown still, but go back to the control room. Nemo will ask if you want to pilot the door to this. No, he didn't.
That's not true, we lied! We didn't do it right. We look at these fishies. Through this portal, you'll discover the wonders of the deep sea world. I didn't even, I didn't even tell me that. What the hell? Vosper Mach Upir. Don't be surprised, I doesn't speak English. Why you ask me to like freaking run the, run the ship? Man, I didn't read the book correctly? I mean, like, this is ridiculous. It's like, click on it twice. You can't even click on it the second time. It's like, I mean, it shows arrows, but I can't click. The arrows don't do anything. That's all you can do. Come on, this walkthrough this sucks. There we go. Professor Adonax, would you like to steal the door of this? It's pleasure, Captain. You see, we're at the course of 80 degrees at a depth of 100 meters, cruising at 20 knots. As you say, Captain. Go down to 220 meters, heading due north. Okay, so click the speed letter, stop the Nautilus. Speed zero. Click the nanometer to descend to 220 degrees. We all the sea bed at a depth of 220 meters. And then use the wheel. Try to carry with the maneuver dipshit. Heading north. Right, we're at the edge of the Crespo Forest. Go and get ready for the hunt. Alright. Let's go. Let's take the gun. Save the game. Take the helmet. How do you do this? Oh, uh, you turn with the mouse, okay. I'm gonna keep saving constantly here because this is freaking hard. Look how fast he's moving though. This, this, this looks so much smoother, I agree. We would like to do a good job hitting them. One more shark to go. Oop, missed him. Shit. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Park, you boy. The sound effects could, could probably like, be a little better improved. I spent the two inches followed in long hours of reading and contemplating the marvelous sea world through the porthole. The Nautilus covered some 4,000 miles, heading south-southeast at an almost steady speed of 40 knots. I hope it is loading. Right, let me save the game. This looks nice too. That's all 
Wow, I thought I saw an island just then. Click on telescope. Captain, there's an island to a starboard. Uh, can we go and stretch our legs on solid ground, eh? Only Mr. Aradax, you have free hour. Alright, so we got this stupid thing. Do, do, do. The mouse is moving him. Interesting. Uh. Remember really the DOS version had a mouse icon on the screen that had to move the cursor? And this one, the mouse is just directly controlling him, which is interesting. Gently down the stream. This whole colorful is an interesting touch. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to the game industry at the last minute. We were asked, buddy. No, that, 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 not this way. No, no, no. The, oh, shoot. The mouse, like, it's like, the mouse is straining to actually take him all the way there. Oh, my God. You dumb fuck. I'm having a problem here. Eject. No, I'm all right. No. Come on, get your fucking ass over there. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the green marker. Come on, man. I'll keep looking any further. Go. All right. <sighs> Anyways, asleep. Captain, and I found a box with LP engraved on it. LP is in La Perouse, Professor. Alright, so now I'll click on the top bookshelf and read Perouse. Captain! What's up, Professor? What do you know about La Perouse? His two ships sunk in Vanacoro. The survivors perished, they sunk in a makeshift boat near the Solomon Islands. You just visited one of them, Professor. Look at my journal. Survivors of that Peru's died in the Solomon Islands. I click the middle shelf and read the cookbook. What the hell is it? Cook. Captain, what do you know about Cook? Cook died in February 1779, just off the Sandwich Islands. Yeah, this to your journal. Okay. You gotta leave the library and return to the living room. Go to the top deck. Let's save. You're right, Professor. Take advantage of the fact that you're on the service to get some air. Okay. Back to the living room. Where do you go back? Here. Here. Okay. Back to the top deck again. He's not here. You lied. Walk through, you lied. Uh. Oh, where's Captain Nemo? I gotta get out of here. Dad, leave me alone. That's not even freaking there. Yeah, the DOS version did not have those color cycling effects. The DOS version did a lot of this stuff. 
Hey, uh, Captain, you must know every nook and cranny of the oceans. Far, far, Professor. You know the sea covers seven tenths of the o Earth's surface. Quickly, put it in my book. The sea covers seven. That's, that's an amazing fact. I never know that otherwise. Okay, return to the room. Save. Look on the spear gun to take it. It must be wonderful to go hunting in this underwater seascape. I click on Ned's crotch, it says. <laughs> that's, that can't, that's can't see all that. <laughs> that Ned. <laughs> uh, is everything all right, Professor? Professor, I had enough of watching fish, eh? I want to go home, eh? Okay, it says return the gun. I don't know why I'm doing this. Enter the control room. <laughs> this is so stupid. Then I turn to the living room. Enter the library. Stupid. Back to the living room. It says Nemo should be standing in the room. He's, uh, Nemo's not standing in the room. Uh, let's try it again. Nemo's right there, but he's not standing in the living room. You haven't seen Nemo? Because I don't see him. That went too fast. It's like, you gotta do some weird shit to trigger. Oh, I think he's sitting on his ass there now. He's not standing, but I think he's sitting. Let's see if it worked. No, it didn't work. We're not moving at all, are we? I don't think we're moving. Oh, there he's standing there. We're not moving. We're going to zero. It's supposed to be going at a speed of 35 knots. How do I get this guy to move? Literally, like, all I'm doing here is walking back and forth. That's how you make time pass in this game, is by just walking around like a fool. Professor, I've played this stop for several days. I'll be able to find plenty of things to do. Interesting. What did happen to the walkthrough? This didn't happen. Oh, this has all happened before. I think I, I think I missed something. I think somehow I advanced the time without actually doing what I wanted to do. Let me load it. Let me load the same game. I don't know what, it, what happened. Maybe I got bad RNG or something. Let me see something here. Okay. So 
Speed of chewing with a walkthrough. Yeah, no kidding. I literally, I, I, it said, click on the spear to take it. Click, click on Ned's crotch. Leave me alone. I was watching fish. I went to go home. Put the spear gun back. Enter the control room. Return to the living room. Enter the library. Back to the living room. He still had freaking stay there. Oh, we're moving. We must be at 35 knots. But he was not here to say anything about it, so it didn't count. Fuck. <laughs> I should play it twice. Shut up. <laughs> uh, let's try this again over time. Let's try the other way around. Let's try here first. This is the 80s gamer version of fun. I don't know which 80s gamer, but we're trying to like just at least get to a, a good ending for this game. That's my goal right now. Like... How can you see the speed in here? Does it show you anything? We're underwater, so we're definitely moving. Where the hell are you, Nemo, you dumb piece of garbage? Get your ass in here! Nemo! Come on! I ain't really pissed off. What the hell? Why is it not... I mean, the Tarnia see where it's slightly different, but why is it... Why can't, like, he say that damn thing? So you gotta get the pro thing before where he says, Go fuck off, Professor. Excuse me. You hate me, Nemo, I can tell. You just hate me. Are you not here? So, I mean, you're there? He's sitting on his ass in the chair. We're not, we're not moving. Why are we not moving? Same way after the spear gun bullshit thing. We're not the we're not the deep water right now. I could go up theoretically. I meant to save it, but I didn't. How about how are you guys liking this game so far? Alright, please work. 
Yes. We're going at the speed of 35 knots. No, the the of this can reach a speed of 50 knots. That's what I was trying to get this whole freaking time. Put it in my notebook. It's the best. It stinks, yeah. Alright, save freaking game. Please, like, click on the compass. Ready really due south. There's a real light professor. Right, so go to the library. See if that's how the instructions work. Back to the living room. Into the engine room. Back to the living room. <laughs> uh, like, how do they figure this shit out? Seriously. Back to the library. Back to the living room. And back into the engine room. Click on the exterior lights button. Why have we gone down to the seabed? Now we'll go back to the living room. And click on the window. See the wrecked ship, yes. Many ships have sunk on Bass Reef. What an amazing sight! Indeed, Professor! Well, I find that rather worrying, eh? Do you guys want to see the end, or you don't give a shit? I should just end the stream right now. Because I want to see the good ending. What, the Hollywood ending? I really promise you the Hollywood ending. <laughs> Best games to matter the Sonic Zelda. That's funny. Oh, oops. Bastard. The rest of the endings are taking so much time to it. Yeah, I agree. I want to see it too. Uh oh. Well, he left. He didn't like bite my balls off. The DOS version I missed it. He bit my balls off. Where did I find this version of the game? I I bought it. I bought it off eBay. The next few days went by peacefully. The Nautilus, I was, it was, I was ten bucks. Buy it now, uh, just for the loose discs. The Nautilus rushed westwards at a speed of thirty-five knots and a course of two hundred ninety degrees. On the seventh year levels, the helm was turned to the north and a speed reduced to, to twenty knots. Merry Christmas, Professor. Thanks, jackass. Yeah, I said I could have gotten more, but I got lucky. It was like the $10 buy it now. Alright, leave the control room. It's getting here that surprise the dinosaur peak. Yeah, I mean, probably, but it's worth a hell of a lot less. <laughs> Probably should leave some water the thing. Uh, read the Atlantide book, it says. Captain! Oh, Captain! Have I ever seen the Atlantis? It's a ship. Yes, Professor. She went down at longitude 16, latitude 33. Alright. So I get my notebook. Friends too is be able to retire the see all the super rare, super obscure, super rare trash games. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
so hard to get to work. Would you like to steal the note of this, Professor Aradax? With pleasure, Captain. Go down to 70 meters at 250 degrees. Okay. Speed zero. Go oh, down, you fool. We're well, also seabed, 70 meters down. I'm sorry for crashing the ship. 250 degrees. Which way is that? Run a course of 250 degrees. Would you like to go out, Professor? Would you go out, Professor? I'd like to be left alone. What a jerk. It's like... I just helped you, didn't I? Let right, go out. Look on the window. Some sound. What are those men doing? That's not your problem. Just be aware this is the treasure filled wreck is the one from Chateau Renault, the Bay of Vigo. Okay. Where are my notes? <laughs> that deal was hitting at me, that's funny. <laughs> Alright, open up the map, it says. Before he was telling me all those exact things to put, and now she like, just put something randomly somewhere. Where do you put the freaking thing? You know, let me look at the other walkthrough because I told you exactly where to put the map. Sorry. This guy has like a picture of the completed map. Use your agent denied. Your client or browser version be used to send malformed or invalid requests. Please update your browser if possible. What? Jeez. Oh, hang on. One second. Follow the screen. Yeah, that's real bullshit. I agree. Your freaking page doesn't even work. It worked before, though. Gosh. Hang on one second. Okay, so this 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 website only works on this on this one computer, not on another computer, not on my phone. So I'm sure it's my phone's problem. Not. All right, let me see if I can do this. Look at the map and just do it quickly. All right. One apparently goes like here. I don't know how this dude figure this shit out. Two goes over here. Out here. Come on. You can do it. This is like the worst mouse control ever. Right there. Three goes. 
there. Four goes. Uh, seriously, who did this must be hot? No, not there. Who did this must be high on drugs? Okay. Five goes here. Apparently, you need to do this. I don't know why the other wealthy doesn't have this, but it does say if the, if the map's not completed, you get a bad ending. Or you don't get the best ending, at least. Six. There. That's probably it for now. Actually, I, maybe I should just do that for now. Uh, hold on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of December 21st. Let's just do that for now. I suppose it's going to trigger something. Actually, I might as well just put the wall there. Let me save the game. Seven goes here. Right there. I guess the ship goes on like land too. Eight goes there. And nine. Goes there. All right. Supposedly that's 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 the right thing to do. Switch back. So I can see what you guys are saying. Nothing. You said nothing this whole time. That's a bullshit. Okay. It is a bullshit. <laughs> if it works, it's amazing though. Okay. Which way did we come, Captain? And now, now you're getting on him. It's very simple, Professor. We took a tunnel which connects the Red Sea to the Mediterranean. But it is my book. Okay. Save the game again. Go to the library. Read the book that says Bill Rouge. Captain, do you know how the Red Sea got its name? It's something to do with the presence of a microscopic seaweed which produces a crimson substance. Put this in my book. Call of the Red Sea is. Do this. <laughs> Look, it's on the top. Do the seaweed. Doesn't even freaking fit. That's my stuff. It doesn't fit. <laughs> The picture of the walkthrough, like, shows that oh, you can't see it, but it show, yeah, you can't see it. It shows that it fits. So, this is the DOS version. There's more space on the screen than the Atari version. All right, save the game. Leave the line up to the control room. Control room being, I mean, it's not here, right? Make sure the loading is working. That's the one thing the Dodge version has, yeah. Extremely interesting day. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Alright, that's not the right thing to do. Let's try it again. So stupid. What a great sub. There's the control room. So they happen there. Back to the library. Let's go around, Captain. I really don't know, but we'll have to find out. That squid measures at least 10 meters! 
It's incredible! Take the note of us back to the service profession. Meet me up on deck. Look at the drone's dials and through the light record observations about the squid. Find enough space left in it. Let's see. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I see the squid more than 10 meters high. Alright, save. This is the control room. Why, do I, why would you ask the professor to bring you back to the surface if there's actually shit going on here? Uh, just a depth lower, look at the top. Okay, we have to the room. Ascend the stairs at the top deck. And the safety measures, the captain is locked in port hill. Alright. I'll save the game. Should be pretty much the end here. I shoot this badge with my the slowest mouse in the world. Oh my god. I can't even like, move the mouse. I just lost. I shot by accident. I didn't mean to. <sighs> Come on. I like the slowest mouse ever. Good, that was a good shot. Is he dead? Probably not. I think I can move the mouse up. Oh, good, we go down. I missed him, didn't I? I can't move the mouse. This is, this is it's a problem with the emulator, I think. He's right there. Oh. Come on, he's right freaking there. Where the freaking mouse? Oh my god. <laughs> I really can't move it. I keep like I'm, I'm unlocking and locking the mouse to see if that makes a difference. Like I, oh my god, did I get him? He's right in my cursor. I can't get up there. Sorry, it's impossible. It's only you have to have to him twice. If you don't fend off the octopus, you're dead. If you only see two, two hits on him. That was freaking the grand target. Uh, I can't like shoot again because he won't move. Everything is slow. Look how slow he's moving. The press with the gun, just like okay, I could be dead by now. He came up and he rebuilt back right like down again. Why did I do that? <laughs> No chance of getting up there. <laughs> you really good versus game. Well, this might not be a problem on the regular, on the actual hardware. It might be an emulator issue. Try it. You could do a mouse. I think we hold the mouse button is causing a problem. I think I gotta move it like 
gently in little increments. That's what I think it is. I think I can move fast enough to catch him. That's the problem. The way I can get in there, I have to hope I get a chance. This time I have a shot. That didn't hit him? Come on, it was right on him! I hit him once, he's just blowing the water. I literally hit him once. It's pulling the mouse too often. I think it's an emulator option that I probably could fix. But I'm not going to bother with it now. Honestly, I can't believe I'm not dead. You always hit him twice, and he like comes. You get like 50 tries. I should hit his. Oh, I was supposed to hit his eye or something. Like, yes. Finally. Save the stupid freaking game. Into the library. In the control room. Then back to the library. What the vacation I right now in the living room. Look on the stairs. I've checked the manometer to see I've surfaced, but it doesn't look like it. Around the surface, okay. Go up. The telescope. Man, there's only a few miles away. Precisely! He's supposed to say something else, but I guess he doesn't. Oh, there we go. It may be madness, but we must try our luck! Those two guys are just like, yeah, hey, we'll stay here, Professor. Don't worry about us, eh? We're not going to come with you, eh? All right, here we go. Here's the big payoff. Everybody. <laughs> I am fearless, gentlemen, and I hope that this account of my incredible adventures has won you over and filled you with enthusiasm. Remember the last time we played? You were like, ah, oh, this sucks. This, is, this guy's crackpot or something. Kidding me? That's what they said last time to me too. It's not supposed to be the same ending. It's supposed to be like this. We have to congratulate you heartily for your courage and blah blah blah. And it says if you complete the diary or the map, you still get like a decent something else. No diary, no map, you get this. All oh, this is very interesting. This, the, the dialogue they have here is not even like an option. What the f What the fudge? What the hell? We did everything it said! <sighs> Such bullshit! I blew it. Yeah, I didn't blow anything! <laughs> it's. It was exactly what the walkthrough said! It was. It's... Alright, well. The Atari ST version is definitely better than the DOS version. But that's not saying much. That's like 
if I was James Rolfe, I'd be like, that's like the, the crap I took today was better than the crap I took last week or whatever. I mean, that's, that's, that's essentially what he would say. I'm so disappointed. What the hell? What is, what the, does the other walkthrough say anything about that? Why does it work on this computer? Let me see, the other walkthrough over here. Oh my god. It doesn't. I, I don't know. I totally give up. I think this game sucks. So now I have seven likes of this video. I don't know how, but thank you whoever gave me the seven likes. Oh my god! All right, guys, that's that's it. We this this is cock. This is cock television's wonderful game. Twenty thousand. 20,000 years on the Let's see. For Atari ST. Better than DOS version, but still broken apparently. And a very bad game. I never touch this ever again. Never play this ever again. If anybody watches this and, and knows how to beat this game, please leave a comment and let me know how to beat the freaking game. I really uh, would like to do that at some point if you tell me how. But don't troll me. No links to Rick Roll videos or anything like that. <laughs> Just. If you don't want to do it, leave a comment. If you like retro stuff like this, like the thing, subscribe, all that stuff. Hopefully I'm going to stream again tomorrow. This is what I want to do tomorrow. Well, actually, you know what? I may, I, we'll see. I, I want to do this hopefully, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. The 25th Ward Silver Case. <laughs> I know you guys are all super excited for that. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Thank you, Dorian. Thank you, Pirate Gamer. Thank you, always. <laughs> Excuse me, thank you, always asleep. Thank you, whoever else, give me the likes. And uh, have a great night, everybody. And peace out.